in here. Got stuff everywhere, as usual. Now, I'm not too sure what to do next. I've got to get these side windows out so I can make the necessary repairs to each one of those. Now, after that's welded up, that's pretty much going to be it, I believe. I think the only welding job after that, hopefully, that I know of, is going to be on that cargo door. So, I can store the doors in here, but um, it's where I'm going to store the glass in the meantime. If I can make space for that somewhere, then um, that might be the way to go. And as you saw in a previous video, I was uh, wet sanding the front of the bus and getting a little bit of that done. Now, I've, I've stopped there really because I'm undecisive about where I'm going to go with the paint on this. I mean, I have got some orange in stock and it would be a lot easier for me to get the orange on there, but I'm indecisive, I don't know. Let me know what you think. Right, so let's go for the more easily accessible window first. I've got my sucker on there, got the old knife, let's go for it. Right, let's have a closer look, eh? And get the rest of this off. I'm quite happy with that. It's just, um, a little bit there, a few pin holes there, other than that it's just um, a little scabby, once I clear it up it'll probably tell a different story though. And now both of these two. So this is the first time that I've ever had to cut seals out of a window and I'm finding that if you get your blade up between the seal and the glass, enough pressure and then follow it down. quite easy to pull out that way. Now these louvered ones are a little different I believe, I'm sure there's some screws on the uh, inner side holding the frame in. Yeah it's got screws all the way around the frame, got a mixture of flat head and posi head, so excellent. So there we go, that's all the screws out from the frame and that was definitely from the school of thought of let's just throw any old screw into it. But uh, these ones look to be the original. Well, I'll just open the louvers up and I think this one's going to come out a lot easier now I've undone them screws on the inside. Whee! Here we go. Clearing the areas down with the old finger fold there, just trying to find where the decent metal starts. So that's a damage for the uh, louvered window section, pretty much, with a few pinholes here and there. So out of the three windows, this one's probably 
the worst just gone along and uh, probed it a little bit more now this is really badly pitted along its whole length I mean I think I showed this rear section before and the first window that I took out I've probably got to it just in time but it's had a little bit of a ding in there I don't know what's going on it's had some weld thrown in there and the rest of it is just a few pinholes here and there that being the worst bit but it's not as bad as the other side I mean the pitting is evident in places but it's still not as bad as the other side so I've just gone and cut a couple of lengths of uh, steel now that is the maximum length that I can get into my brake so whether or not I'm gonna stitch it together and make the repair panel in one piece or just let in sections I'm undecided as yet but that's um just shy of 60 centimeters in length and five centimeters in width now with my dimensions that should include my bend allowance as well now if you ever try to look up and learn how to calculate bend allowances you're entering into another realm there because that is I mean pi and all that I'm no good at maths but I'm just of the uh, school of thought of measuring it and testing a piece out I've been looking at this worst side a little bit more and done a bit more of a clean down and given it a seriously <laughs> good probing and that is the worst of it now I'm going to try first of all just to weld up the pinholes whether they'll blow out more I don't think they will because it's it's real even though it's pitted it's it's proper strong I can't get no more out of that so I think I'm just going to have to let a large section in more so in this middle portion and the rest like this will just uh, get welded up that bit just looks like a complicated mess at the minute so I'm going to leave that till last What do you reckon, eh? That's it all cut out. And I did manage to get a little test piece out complete just so I can um, work out my bend allowances in the panel that I've got to make. You can also see the worst of the holes on the inner side there. I've also got to make a couple of these so I'm just looking at the first window that I took out in the uh, rear corner and I think that's probably what's happened before they've just had a few pinholes form and they just inserted a few welds on top of them mark that out a little better now I'm gonna to have to put it through the bead roller where that center line is to uh, recreate that there I 
think that should do it. That ain't too sad then, is it? First bit measured and uh, on the next one. So I've just transcribed some lines onto this piece of metal that represents that. I don't know how, but hopefully it will. And that's the first mistake made. Um, I've realised that I needed a deeper depth of uh, edge there, so I'm going to change out the dies for that one. It's a bit um, deeper on the rolled edge. And I've started at the top too far at the top, so I haven't allowed myself the um, edge on the top there. So ideally I should have started that down a bit leaving that for the top section but live and learn right so attempt number three then i just worked out that my uh, rolled edge the depth of it was a little bit too deep so i've had to decrease that area by a couple of millimeters and i'm now working on the um the radius as such of that bottom corner of the window how i'm going to cut and splice that around whether that'll work or not take a few more measurements on that but while I'm working on that in the corner of my eye I still had a puddle forming around that front tire there now I had a bit of rain and the uh, floors now dried out from me walking the wet in and out and underneath that tire still remain wet so yeah that's brake fluid and um, when I'd done the brakes in a previous video I didn't actually adjust the two front brakes because I'm going to take it off basically I don't remember greasing those um, needle bearings up so that's uh, when I was going to do it but now I'll probably do it uh, sooner than I thought right quickly whip that wheel off there's the leak and it looks to be a faulty wheel cylinder maybe that bottom one I just stopped working for about an hour on the bus and uh, ordered that brake cylinder and I've also installed the new light fittings then bulkheads weren't cutting it so I've now got open bayonets but um, with the LED bulbs so I can't hide any more of my sins I just can't believe the difference that that's made and I've been making all these videos in the dark. I've just tried having a little sort out as well with all the gear underneath this workbench because I'm hoping, I'm hoping to get an old compressor up and running and that'll be the space for it right there. I think this is attempt number four by the way. The reason that I'm actually rolling that edge or making that recess is because it's got the uh, cover plate track that uh, sits nicely inside there. So that's going to be it for this video then but I'll just show you where I'm going to leave off. Now I've just put some rust converter up and inside each void so letting that dry. Now this rear section is going to have to go in two parts. I just can't get that curvature and a little twist, a little difficult bit going on there. So two parts for that. The rest of it, I've got all the pieces made and ready to go in. And I've just given them a coat of uh, weld through primer on one side. There's still a few bits that I might have to make some nibbles on just so that I can do a little plug weld, especially at that most rear section there just nibble a bit out so I can plug weld it in but hopefully next time I can get that wheel cylinder fitted if it arrives get the brakes bled and get some welding done so until then make it better than it was and I'll see you then